internet, it's me, and him, and tonight we watched The Beast Within. Um, look at me, baby. I'm Kit Harrington. White as shit. Okay, well now we're getting kicked oh off YouTube. God, I am really white <laughs> on the camera. I'm too thicksy. I'm too thicksy, and you know it. I'm too, don't look at me. <sighs> okay, so... Two major questions about this movie before we really get into it. Yeah. It's just two plot holes, or things. The first, specific to this movie, if your kid needs oxygen tanks to stay alive, you don't why the would you store them outside in the barn? Yeah, that's stupid. Um, and the second thing, and it's not just this movie, because it happens in a lot of movies, but if you have some sort of, like, disease or monster blood or some sort of thing that, like, is hereditary in your family... And you know, like, it, it makes you this evil thing. Why would you have kids? Like, you know it came from your grandfather and your father, and now you have it. Like, why would you have kids? Why would you knowingly be like, oh, I should make another werewolf monster? And I don't think he knows how sexual intercourse works. Sometimes no, you I have know children where kids where come from, but, like, just don't. Like, you can control that. So what did you think? Just kidding, it was garbage. Like, the acting was good. Everyone did oh my a God. good job. If I could act half as good as the worst actor in this movie, I'd be winning so many Oscars. Oscars. Yeah. Everyone did an amazing job. All four of them. Like, there was only four people. Yeah. But all four of them killed it. Yeah. Amazing. And the cinematography, top tier. Like, all the landscapes, the sets, everything looked incredible. Uh, the house, when they went to that one shop and it was all red and, like, everything looked really good, like... I guess so. Yeah, it did look good. Yeah. It was just the the, the, the the flatness of it, and I guess that's just because it was where it was. It was just... looked so depressing, and that's what they were going for, so I yeah. guess it worked, yeah. but it was still... It was icky to look at the whole time, but I guess it was supposed to be, so I guess it worked. Yeah, like, technically, it was an excellent movie. Everyone did a great job. It looked really good. Like... All of that is fine. The problem is... I don't want to watch a movie about an abusive husband. Yeah, like it's just... It's not depressing in the way that horror movies are like, hopeless. Because like, that's part of the fun of the horror movie, is it seems like there's no horror hope and you're watching people struggle scary. against it. Right, horror movies are scary. This was just bleak and sad like very depressing everyone was doomed from the beginning and like the girl had a chance to get away with the grandfather and the mother stopped her which then later caused the grandfather and the puppy to die and then the mom herself almost died and then you find out at the very end spoiler alert that the little girl is in fact a werewolf too i mean they don't show it but no no, no. i think you missed, they, you missed the whole point of the movie no i think they implied very heavily that she is too no because he always called her little monster. No, they applied that there was no werewolf at the end. It was just Kit Harrington being an abusive husband. Really? Yeah, remember when they showed at the end he was kicking her, the wife? Mm -hmm. And he said, hello, little monster. Because he knew, he told her this, he told his daughter the story of how his his father was a cruel man. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to be like that, but he was like that. And he didn't realize he was like that. And now he's like, uh, maybe he did realize it. And he's like, hello, little monster. You're going to be just like me. It's time for mm. you to learn. It's time for you to see. You want to see? You're just like me. Oh. That's what it was. The whole movie was... The, the, the werewolf was just to hide the fact that it was so all... So it's just a metaphor for... It was all an abusive relationship all along, and maybe she saw it differently because she wanted to make oh. sense of it. I like that even less, then. But yeah, it was... I liked it better when it was a monster movie. It was never... And to be fair, it was kind of slow and dull it, as a monster movie. It was never... Movie. It was 90% about an abusive husband... And how that impacts a family. The werewolf part was minimal. And when they did show it, it was like, okay. But they didn't really yeah. show it to great effect. I do have to say, the effects, when we did see the werewolf, oof. Like, they they spent their budget on Kit Harrington Because that is practical effects. So I'll give them a little bit of props for that. But, like, the head wasn't even articulated. Every time you saw it, it didn't move. And, like... When the when when the werewolf was on fire, they did a full body. Right, mm -hmm. Maybe it was right before it was on fire. But you could see the foot, like the foot had that bouncy foam, plastic, yeah. and rubbery. It looked very. And it was funny because the fire, the the first shot where you see the head surrounded in the fire, it actually looked good. 
the first shot. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, it was a profile shot of the head. It was on fire like this, and it was like mid-howl. It looked good. The problem is they flashed three more shots of the head on fire, there was like, and yeah. they looked progressively worse, where you could tell there's a fake, that, non-moving, foam, terrible head. That's why they did that. They were like, we can only show a half a second of this at a time, yeah. because our foam prop is fucking melting quicker than they we They should have stopped after the first one. Like, that first shot looked good. Every subsequent one did not. They should have been rolling in super, super high frame rate. And then just show yes. like a good five, seven second extended clip of the first two seconds. Like five pieces of the same frame. But yeah, it was it was funny because right in the beginning, when you see the grandfather kill the grandmother under the blood moon there, like I could tell right then, like, I didn't want to say it, but I'm like, ooh, that looks a little janky. Like the way he was moving. They just had him bob his head up and down. The jaws didn't move. He wasn't biting her. He was just bobbing his head. And it made the whole snout of the werewolf thing move. And so right off the bed, I'm like, oh, that's a little janky. And then when I saw more of the werewolf thing, I'm like, oh, yeah, no, there's just, there's no budget for this. Which is crazy, because you have Kit Harrington, you'd figure you can afford a good werewolf costume. Like, I mean, I've seen better ones at Spirit Halloween, where the mouth moves and they have fur. Like, I don't, I don't know where the disconnect came, that it was so low budget on that costume. That was, that was rough. Like, it really, I don't, I don't know the reason for that, but that was not a good effect. Yeah. So other than the acting, the movie was garbage. Yeah. I liked the cinematography. I thought it was depressing. I, I mean, it was depressing, but I think that was intentional. Yeah. It was a rough watch. It was. It was... I mean, it wasn't even necessarily the slowest things. Like, things kept happening. It was just, like you said, it was just awful. Like, I don't want to watch this guy abusing the shit of his wife and daughter and stepfather. And, like, it just kept getting more bleak. Like, throughout the whole thing. To the point where when they killed her puppy at the end, they didn't even spend any time on it. Because everything else was so awful that that didn't even really register as a thing. Like, it was just bad after bad. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's more to say. I think this one, um, don't watch it unless you really want to have a bad time. So yeah, I think, I don't know. I think that's where we're at. It wasn't, it wasn't great. It was kind of depressing. Yeah, very and, depressing. And not very really, depressing. And not horror either. Like it wasn't no. scary. It was just, yeah, if it was, if it had some scariness to it, it would have been fine. Like when you see all the horror stuff and there's murders, like murders happen every day. Yeah. I've never been abused. But to me, that abuse of watching this movie was rough to watch. Yeah. And it made me depressed. That's definitely harder to watch than the gore. I and the know. And the I know my freaking cousin that I grew up playing with murdered his family. That's and a true story, by the way. He's not making it up for camera. And, and that affected me in real life. But when I see murders in horror movies, I'm like, oh, that one was cool. Yeah. Ugh. Like, yeah, uh, it's weird. On screen, I don't. Like, what's maybe, maybe because murders are in, like, everything, even yeah. children's stuff, but, like, abuse and stuff isn't, isn't, so... Yeah. Plus, I mean, we're older now, we've experienced the world more, and, like, you know people that these things have happened to, so it just... It's not as much of a spectacle as it is just a terrible reminder of the world. Right. Like, senseless, over-the-top murders, like, when I watch a Final Destination or Saw or something, like... Those are so over-the-top and ridiculous that it's just... It's fun because of how implausible it is. Like, you can disconnect it from reality. Like, that's not actually ever going to happen, so that doesn't bother me. My right? that's but when you see stuff like this, like, this is the world. This happens all the time, and it's awful. And it's just, I don't know, that empathetic part of your brain is like, I know I'm not comfortable watching this because this is horrible. It makes me black sad. <laughs> <laughs> the movie about the whale. I don't know. I'm just reading what that kind of over there says. Oh, but yeah, uh, I think I think that's it. It's a it's a depressing movie and not very much of a horror. So yeah, I think we're gonna go before he takes off the rest of his clothes. <laughs> Who does this remind you of?
If anyone says Kit Harrington. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's gross and disgusting. Not like Kit Harrington. It reminds me of Elon Musk. You seen the pictures of like Elon Musk without his shirt on? Oh, it makes me want to puke. Yeah, that's what that's what seeing me and the in the camera makes me think of. <laughs> you just need several billion more dollars, and you'll be his clone. Hey, let me try something to make up turn the sexy factor. Ready, ready, ready. Oh yeah, baby. Worst. Video. <laughs> 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 <laughs>